good, man? What's good? What's good? What's good? Right now, I'm going to do this video real quick. As you can see behind me, I'm working on, a, I think it's a 13 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the 3.6 in it. Now, what I want to inform uh, you do-it-yourselfers out there, uh, you might not want to do this job yourself. You might actually want to uh, take this one uh, to the shop to get done, uh, mainly because you're going to need a, a lift you know, go up and down in it. What I'm doing is the um, bank one cylinder head. In this case, because it's pointed front was it's, it's the uh, right side cylinder head. But I know some of you guys are doing the uh, bank two um, easy without pulling the front cover off and all that, but ain't no way around it on uh, bank one. You have to remove the front timing cover and it is not easy which means you're going to, have to go up and down up and down constantly uh taking bolts off to get the front timing chain cover off so do it yourself is if you're going to try this job yourself meaning at home uh, be prepared to remove the timing chain cover because you have to get it off to gain access to the cylinder head because the chain guys are bolted to the cylinder head in order to get the cylinder head off you have to remove the guys off the head. Now I know it's the same way on bank two, but there's an easier boat you can get to to remove that chain guy. So, but it's not the same, okay? Don't even try it or you're gonna break some and you're gonna damage some. And that cover is not easy to get off. It's like it's welded on there. You might forget a boat and still try to pry it off and break it. So you gotta be extremely careful. Now I'm gonna grab the camera down and show y'all some of the stuff I got going on, but do it yourself first. I'm not sure you wanna do this job yourself. What I'm talking about again is the Grand Cherokee 3.6, any 3.6 for that matter, because the timing chain got to come off to do bank one, meaning wherever cylinder one, three, and five is, that's the side that the timing chain has to come off to do the job. All right, so I'm going to take the camera down and show you all something. Okay, you can see uh, standstill camera right here. Um, as you can see, I got the head off on this already, but I'll show you the guides I was talking about and like this guy right here it bolts to the head and there's another guy uh, this guy right here also bolts to the head so all this is uh you know holding the chain on so be extremely careful and of course here's the change so you got it it's got a, a ID ID dents in it to where you can put it back in time properly. That that's not really a problem, but I just want to give y'all a heads up that the front time and chain cover will have to be removed in order to do bank one uh seven head in order to replace here's the cover. It's got a gasket right there in between it, so be sure you replace the gasket. And uh, of course the water pump gasket, but um, yeah, to deal with the cylinder head, man, is I have a misfire in cylinder three and five. So they've done everything to this car. They replaced all rockers, all lifters, everything. I still have the misfire. So even two camshafts, I think, was replaced on this head. So. I, I can see a little space right in between here, but I'm going to do a leak down test in a, a liquid leak down test where you set the head flat and put uh, some solution in each uh, you know, of these and see if it leaks down. But for the most part, it's getting a new cylinder head because that's pretty much, I ain't going to say the only thing left. You could have a problem in the block, but Chrysler recommend we replace now it's known to have we're known to have problems with the bank two cylinder head, but bank one, it's not not so it's not known to be a problem. That's why we were skeptical about pulling it, but we had no choice. Again, all I'm doing is giving you guys heads up. You do it yourself. But if you're gonna tackle this job, <laughs> that time and chain cover have to come off. Alright? And this is a WJ or WK a Grand Cherokee, but it applies to any engine or any car that has the 3.6 liter engine in it. All right, I want to keep this uh, video short, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Thanks for watching.